Just stopped at a garage sale back over there. Did not find anything, but uh, the lady, she's like, um, hold on a second, I might have something you're interested in. Because I've been to this garage show a few other times. And she pulled out a bunch of burnt CDs, like blanks, with uh, random people, random songs on it. Just stopped at Value Pond, and let me show you what I picked up. So I just picked all of these up. Um, all the older ones here, these six, were a dollar each. And I want to say I'm out of Halo 1s at the store. Well, here's three copies of Halo 1 for a buck each. So, I stocked up on that. Red Dead Redemption, Metal Gear Solid, Jack and Dexter, and then these two here, Square, uh, Kingdom Hearts and Grand Theft Auto. Those ones here are five each. This one didn't have a disc inside it, but he gave it to me, so just in case if I have a disc at the store, I could throw it in there. Woo. Just stopped way over there at Cash America, and I picked these up. Also good deals, Sonic Mega Collection. It's got, on the back of this, a ton of different Sonic games from back in the day. Seven different games. I also picked up Need for Speed Most Wanted and Castlevania Lords of Shadow. But this, there's two Most Wanted's on the Xbox 360 and this is the good one. Because it's the older one. So, anywho. See you guys at the next stop. Whoa. Just stopped at a garage sale back over there. Oh my god. said we couldn't do it. True. I almost bought a, a Bucks jersey, but she won't. I, I wasn't sure on the player if it was if it was worth it or not. I said Graham. Uh, but anyway, on to the next stop. Woo! Just stopped at a little a little church thrift sale over there. Um, they had some Legos inside. They had a bunch of little bags of Legos. I asked if they had any video games, and I guess one of the ladies here just sold her Wii to one of the pawn shops that I was just at this morning. Uh, Cash America. But uh, anyway, that that will end this stop and we got like two or three more stops to go. And then I got, I got a surprise for you at the end of the video, so stay tuned to the end. I got a huge pickup. So I go to that sale over there um, and I ask the guy if he has any video games. He's like, you know, a matter of fact, I got one of those old Game Boys. And for 20 bucks, <laughs> sure enough, he's got one of those old Game Boys. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm like, oh, wait, what? Just like that, he just walks back. He's like, it's right here. I got Tetris Attack, Quir uh, Quirk. Best RPG ever. Yeah. We got Pac Man, Tetris 2, Caesar's Palace. Alleyway. It's the games kind of suck because none of them are really like rare. But I mean, what are the odds? And he's even got the little. <laughs> this is like a magnifying glass thing. Yeah, he's like, I got one of those old Game Boys, and sure enough, here it is. It's got. It's. It works. Looks like it's in working condition too. I gotta test it. But anyway, um, finally, an actual like real, real score at a garage sale. Yeah. I'll, I'll see you guys at the next stop. Just stopped at a pawn shop over there. It was a pawn shop before, and the guy moved uh, to Chicago, and then now it's another people that own it. All their games were way high priced. This was ten dollars. Normally, I wouldn't buy this, even for ten bucks, but it's factory sealed. Um, so I mean, it it always trades in for more than ten dollars anyway, but it's sealed. So I'll be able to get a decent amount of money for that on eBay because it is sealed. People are even a lot of grading stuff like that for some odd reason. But anyways, so yeah, Black Ops 2, if you find it, want to grade it, it's worth money. Anyway, um, I will see you guys at the next stop. I'm heading back to the store. So there are the babies for the day. Sealed Black Ops 2. We've got a Namco Museum. We've got Kingdom Hearts, Grand Theft Auto, Jack and Dexter, three copies of Halo 1, Metal Gear Solid 2, Red Dead Redemption, Need for Speed, Sonic Mega Collection, Castle to the Vania, um, Nintendo Game Boy, 
uh, Quirk, Tetris Attack, Tetris 2, Caesar's Palace, Alleyway, Pac-Man, all those babies. That's what I got for the day. Um, and now I am going to end this week's garage sale video, but I got a special surprise. So I'm going to send it over to Home Aaron. Take it away, Home Aaron. Show him what you got this week. Woo! It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. So this is one of the most lot, most insane lots I picked up. I spent a little bit over $400 on everything that you're staring at in front of you. And let's just go through the breakdown. Uh, lethal Enforcers. I did get um, guns, by the way. These two are for Saturn. That's for Dreamcast. Uh, that's also for Saturn, a fight stick. We got some PS3 controllers. Those don't really matter. Um, let me just give you the breakdown. We've got Iron Storm, Sega Saturn, Independence Day on Sega Saturn, some Dreamcast web browser demo things. Uh, we got Mist on Saturn. We got Sim City on Saturn. We got Soccer for Saturn. Uh, Mortal Kombat. That's I think that's a bootleg copy, but we've got what else is over here? Some more little demo things. We've got Sega Rally for Sega Saturn. We've got World Series Baseball, Sega Saturn, Virtual Cop, not for resale, Sega Saturn. Here's the Lethal Enforcers. We've got Tomcat Alley, Sega CD stuff. Uh, we got Hockey for Saturn, Double Switch for Saturn, Virtual Fighter for Saturn. We've got Rebel Assault on the Sega CD. We've got Wild uh, Metal. We have for Sega CD, we have Rage Cage. We've got Black Fire. Um, we have the hidden matching of Hidden Souls, and then down there we got Mortal Kombat with the case. It's just the manual, so Mortal Kombat's worth a little bit, but that Mortal Kombat isn't even the best thing in here. Um, I'm freaking out right now because I got such a good deal on this. We got, uh, well, I wouldn't say a good deal, but a great deal, but I got a good deal. We got Lost World, Football, Ground Zero, and here's where the money is. We've got Mortal Kombat Trilogy for the Sega Saturn. That disc with nothing with it is borderline 200 bucks. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on the Saturn. We've got a memory card for the Saturn. We've got this baby right here, Quartz, Corpse Killer Graveyard Edition. That's amazing. We have a Sega Dreamcast. All the hookups go down there. We've got the Sega Saturn with all the hookups, but the reason I bought this lot. Here it is, boys. This is the Sega CDX, Genesis CDX Multimedia CD-ROM Entertainment. It's got all the cords. It works. Play Sega games, play Sega CD games. That's why I do what I do. Actually, I'm going to gently place that back down there because that is probably a $500 item or borderline $500. It's got all the stuff with it. Um, it was an amazing find. Um, I did not find that out uh, hunting per se. Someone came to me wanting to sell that stuff. He had tried a few other places and I guess they gave him two low balls of, of offers. But there's well over $1,000 worth of stuff there. Um, uh, there's a few more um, discs hidden in around there as well, but nothing like amazing. Everything that I showed you was all of no. There was like a lot of demo CDs and whatnot, but oh my god. Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast, and Sega CDX, all with stuff to go with them. Thanks for watching me, guys. I'll see you guys at my, I, I'm, I'm doing this number still, <laughs> but uh, I'll see you guys next time when I find a bundle. And, and yes, if you want some Mario cereal, you can get that too. But all we care about is that CDX baby. We out. See you next time. Woo! Okay, guys, uh, this is another last minute pickup. I don't know how much stuff I'm going to end up getting from this guy, but I got a Nintendo uh, with a bunch of games. We've got Heroes. Of the Lance, Mario Duck Hunt, Mario Duck Hunt, 
Rygar Top Gun. We've got Top Gun, Second Mission, Excite Bike, Sesame Street 1, 2, 3, uh, Swords, and Serpents. We've got Crystalis. We've got John Elway, Quarterback, uh, Legacy Wizard. Since I'm a wizard, that's funny. Another Mario Duck Hunt, Mario Brothers 3. What's that? We got Rampage. Um, we've got Fighting, Fighting Golf. Another Mario Duck Hunt. But then we got some babies here. We got Godzilla on the NES. We've got this one here is a $50 to $60 game. I still can't pronounce it. It's Art. Arc Arquista's uh, ring or king or something. Yeah, Arquista's king, king ring, whatever. I, I, it's it's fifty to sixty bucks. Trust me, I looked it up. <laughs> and then here we have um, Streets of Rage 2. Boom. So I'm throwing this in. This little case it came with two controllers. System's a little yellowed, but uh. So yeah, that's uh another awesome find that's going in this hunting. This is all gonna go in the same hunting video. This is nuts. This is. The amount of stuff that I've been buying, good stuff lately. The CDX, the Saturn, the Dreamcast, this. Ah. This is too much work. Okay.